Jesus knows what troubles your hearts. He knows what keeps you up at night regarding your present and your future. He knows the unanswered questions that plague your mind. He knows the loneliness you may feel at times, the abandonment by friends or family. And he gives us rock solid truths in John 14 that we are to run to and hang our hats on in order to fight against anxiety. Listen to John 14 verse one. It says, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. The first thing we notice is this word, believe. Believe is an important word for the Apostle John. In fact, it's the most important word. He wrote this gospel so that we might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. He wrote to help awaken faith in Jesus and also to strengthen faith in Jesus. In this section alone, in 14 verses, he uses the word believe five times. In the entire gospel, he uses the verb form of the word over 95 times, by far more than any other New Testament author. So the first thing we see here when it comes to alleviating stress or distress and confusion and trouble, anxiety, regarding what the future may hold is that belief in Jesus is foundational. Not breathing techniques, not sticking your head in the sand, not pulling yourself up, not even positive self-thoughts, but trust in Jesus. Faith must have an object. People who say, I trust that everything will work out, well, those people are not exercising biblical faith. Faith must land on something, on someone. This is the natural first step. We all do this. We believe something. We believe these pills will help or eating this food will make me feel better or buying this thing or whatever else we may believe. But Jesus tells us that if we want our troubled hearts to be helped, then our faith must land and remain on him. And let me be even more specific because Jesus is more specific. He commands the disciples and us to believe in God and believe in him. A general belief in a general God is not biblical faith. If a person says that they believe in God but not in Jesus, then they are believing a false God, a God of their own imagination, who will not alleviate any stress or trouble. Jesus says, trust me on this, believe in me. Today, when you pray, please pray for Marco Gaspar and his family, our missionaries in Portugal. And also remember the Hangaza Life Word broadcast that's heard in Rwanda, the Congo, and Niger.